guys welcome back to the homestead tonight we're going to be making a potato soup for supper so i hope you enjoy let's get started okay we're going to start out with we have bacon and this time we go around i want to try the smoked sausage so i have this and then we have our onion so I'm going to be cutting our bacon into small pieces. This may seem like a lot of meat, but this is going to be a pretty big pot and we like to either we keep it to where we can have it for the next day and if we have a whole lot left, we will put it in the freezer. Get my pot on. Now we're going to fry this and uh, get it cooked. Down, and I will put some of this aside because I like to sprinkle it on top. I got to be a little quiet, y'all. My wife's doing a YouTube video. Next, I'm cutting up the smoked sausage. We're going to make these in little pieces. And I'm going to set this over to the side and we'll be cooking that once the bacon's done. Next, next we're going to cut up and dice our onion up. little pieces because you're going to cook it down with the bacon grease from your bacon once it's done. Okay guys, so I have my bacon cooking. And we need to let that cook down until it gets uh, crunchy. And I'm going to start peeling the potatoes. We all know how to peel potatoes, so I'm not going to do that for y'all. But uh, whenever I get done, I'll come back and show you what happens next. Okay, we've got our bacon um, done. And I've poured some of the grease off. And now we're going to be adding our onions and our sausage. Put these down just for a little bit and then we'll add our sausage <clears throat> and I'll be right back. Stir it around and just let it cook some. And I want to keep all the drippings at the bottom. That's just a lot of flavor. Once you put water in it, it will break down and just mix into the potato soup, which makes it just that much better. Okay, next we're going to be adding some chicken broth. I'm 
add a whole container. We're going to be adding some water to this also. And also, I'm adding a family size can of cream of mushroom. potatoes and this is the size you can do any size you want I'm going to add those okay we're going to be adding some water and I'll buy the jug water for this okay just add a little bit okay guys so we got our potatoes added and I did go ahead and add a stick of butter to this. So as you can see, it's going to be a nice pot. And already all the drippings from the bottom of the pot from the bacon has come up. And we need to let this cook for a little while until our potatoes are soft. And then we can start with the rest of the ingredients. And we'll be back when the potatoes get soft. Okay, we're coming back with an update. Um, it's almost there. Not quite. Maybe another 10 minutes or so. The potatoes are almost done. Not quite. Maybe another 10 minutes. And it should be done. So give it a little bit more time. And once my potatoes are done, we'll come back and show you what's next. Okay, guys. So our potato soup, our potatoes are done. And they break pretty easily. What we're going to do next is I'm going to add some of this bacon. This we add. We really like this. It helps thicken it up a little bit more and it gives it a nice pepper flavor. You don't have to use this, but we really like it in our potato soup. Just dump it in there. Don't worry, it's going to cook and it's not going to have the little clumps that you see right now. It will cook to where it'll be perfect. Next, we're going to add some heavy cream. Maybe about a cup. That's probably about a cup. It's going to give it a nice rich flavor. As you can tell, the gravy mix mixed in just by adding the heavy cream. Okay. We're going to let that cook a little bit. Now over here, I've kept a little bit of bacon because I'm going to put that on the top. I have some green spring onions, some mozzarella cheese, and then I have some toast that I'm going to make with butter. And garlic 
We really enjoy this. Uh, it's a more chewier bread. I would love to know a recipe to make this myself. So if anybody knows a good recipe to make this type of rolls, if you would comment it below, I would love to give it a try. Give us a few minutes and once this cooks for about five minutes, we'll plate it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so I put the potato soup in the bowl. We're gonna add some bacon to the top. Some mozzarella cheese. And some green onions. Okay, this is our potato soup with the bacon, the cheese, and the onions added. And this is our garlic bread. And this is what we're going to have for supper tonight. If you try this recipe and you like it, please leave a comment below. See you next time.